Fresh words today from El Cajon residents reacting to a Team 10 investigation into sexual harassment inside that city's police department. Team 10 investigator Allison Ash is there live. And Allison, you just learned why the city decided not to fire the officer. Yeah, you know, we first told you more than a month ago about an officer who said she was repeatedly sexually harassed by her sergeant. Well, today, during a city council meeting right here in the building behind me, several people came out here to protest. They say that officer, that sergeant who was demoted, needs to go. No one would want their mother or their sister or their wife to have to go to work and be served in her email a naked picture of her boss. The picture Bonnie Price is referring to is so graphic we had to blur the whole thing. It shows a man's genitals and according to this lawsuit filed in civil court, it was sent by former El Cajon police sergeant Rich Gonsalves to a woman on the force. Sources told Team 10 Gonsalves was demoted and now that these locals know about it, they say that is not enough. There's bad apples in every bushel. So we've got to find out who the bad apples are and, and remove them from the bushel, not leave them in there to spoil the rest of the batch. The handful of protesters held up signs and spoke to city council, demanding an outside investigation. And then a surprise, as the city manager told them it's already happened. Every guideline of the city has been followed and will continue to be followed. Douglas Williford said he stands by his decision and will fight the pending sexual harassment lawsuit with what he called the utmost vigor. And the city has until April 6th to respond to this lawsuit. We, of course, will let you know what happened. I'm live in El Cajon. Team 10 investigator Allison Ash. All right, Allison.